Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. Today we're going to talk about putting on new replacement straps on the Gopher Hawk Mole Trap. Uh, I am around here, I'm kind of the guy that a lot of people come to to figure out how to trap moles and advice and, and how to get rid of them in their yard. And I've used multiple different traps. Currently my favorite trap is a Gopher Hawk. One, because of its effectiveness, and two, uh, you don't have to dig up big holes in the ground to set the trap. You, you just need the diameter of the trap to set it in, and, and uh, you can set the trap and pull a mole right out of that. Uh, the one thing I don't like about the Gopher Hawk is it's not uh, durable. It does break down over time, but you can buy a replacement strap. I, mine are, is in this box right now. I bought it on Amazon for about seven bucks. And the replacement strap, if you've never seen the Gopher Hawk, is when you set the spring, uh, these straps come out and they should be sticking out. I gotta be careful not to get my finger in there and trigger this, but they should be bulbing out so that the moles can come inside of it. But these get collapsed and we're gonna replace this today. Okay, the first thing you have to do to replace the strap, you have to release the spring. So there's a notch on the end of the gopher hawk and you need to spin the spring until it fits into that notch. It just did right there. And now you could spin it and you can see how it's coming out the top now and we're gonna, it's loosening up the tension and you don't have to take it all the way off but I'm gonna go enough that I know, it's probably about halfway here I could set this out and this is now, is now not gonna spring back on me and injure me while I'm trying to replace it the next thing you gotta do is in there there's three little screws that are holding this strap on okay it's gonna be hard to see it on the camera but you'll see it when you work on it at home three little screws uh, you're going to want a small phillips head to get these out all right coming out of my box i ordered from amazon my new straps you can see they're they stick out wide and round so the moles can come in here and uh, as i mentioned there are no screws so i need to use the screws that i had before it should fit right in the notch there's little notches that line up the screw holes so it, it should fit right back in there uh, this screw should go right back in that hole. I'm going to start all of them just a little bit and then sink them in. It's a metal screw going in plastic. Don't sink it so far that you tear out plastic. Put it in nice and firm, but don't grind on it. Okay, so the new straps are back on, but this, I can't spring load it because the spring's off the end, so I need to wind my spring back on. Just keep spinning until it comes over the end. You'll hear a clicking sound when it gets over the end. that clicking and now it's back underneath and it's not lined up with the hole to release it so it's back in there nice and firm so we can now set the trap mole comes in here hits our spring as i always tell my friends any day you kill a mole it's a good day there you have it how to put the replacement straps on the best trap that is out there the gopher hawk and you can get to work killing some moles. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business. Teaching, including horticulture, is my job, and outdoor projects, including killing moles, is my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone.